I'm back. The hip strange is back in the building. No. In the building, so to speak. Uh, kind of in and out of the building. <laughs> you can see my house behind me. And in front of me here is the Audi TT RS. This is a uh, glacier white with black optics package. You guys have seen me cover this here on the channel. I just, you know, something weird is going down today. Something weird. The, and it is related to this car. So I figured I should document this since I share my life with everyone on the internet. And the weird thing is, is, you know, talking about this car, I think it's beautiful. Look at it. It's an awesome, beautiful car. I've had it for a couple of months. Shared some videos with you guys. I had a couple of adventures with it. The question is, is would I get rid of this car? And that's probably a crazy question to ask if you've only had a car for about, I don't know, five, six months, would you get rid of it? But if I got rid of it, what would I get rid of it for? What would motivate me to get rid of this car, right? And um, the guy's uh, mowing the lawn across the street for me to That's what I've got goats for. So why would I why would I do that? It would obviously have to be something better to me because I really, really enjoy this car. But I might be sharing my last ride with this car with you guys. And you know, if I'm gonna get rid of it, it would have to be for something really badass. Really super. Just a clue. So you know what? Come along with me on this ride. We're gonna answer the question would I get rid of this Audi TT RS and why would I do that? Come along, let's go do that right now. I really like the lines of this. This is like a little baby Audi R8. I love the seats. You know, there's so much, so much that I love about this car. Look at that dash. That is an amazing thing. Check this out. You hit that button. It sounds awesome and it's not even in the in the mode it really needs to be in when I go right here put it into drive and then go to that oh there you go you hear it growl a little bit that's really the mode that really makes my heart sing there's so many things about this car that I uh, that I enjoy you know I like I like these like turbine kind of vents the vent situation that we have going on here you know like I said I enjoy the seats the the headliner is kind of basic although I've seen people have some uh, pretty awesome headliners that have upgraded their TTRS I really don't have a lot of complaints about this thing it's really it's really great but you know what if you had an opportunity to get a supercar would you do it ask yourself that question you know, I'm not a young man. I'm not a little skinny teenager. I think the uh, the opportunities for me to get supercars aren't running away anywhere. But as you get older, you know, your tastes change and stuff like that. So you might decide that, you know, you, you want and need. And even what you can handle is different things. So I think the window for me to get into the supercar thing is closing. So... That's one of the things here with me, but you know what? Let me open that gate, close the gate, get up, go, go back and forward, and I'll be right back with you guys in a minute when we get where we get. So I'm kind of taking the scenic route. You know, this is gonna be the. Uh, if this is gonna be the last drive, I'm gonna do the scenic route for sure. Or, you know, try to enjoy it. I, I really do think this car is awesome, man. And anyone who gets this car, I've got like 4,084 miles on it right now. And I've really enjoyed it. I haven't done like a cross country road trip like I would like to do, and I've done that in uh, a few of the other cars that I've had. I've done it in the Challenger, I've done it in my uh, Ram Rebel. Didn't get a chance to do it with this just because there were places I had to go and I just really had no choice. I had to fly there. But um, I, I have done some short road trips with this car and I really love it. Let's do this. Let's see how this how this car moves from standstill. 
No, not uh, not launch control or anything like that. So, stand still right here. Okay, here we go. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. It, she gets up and moves. She gets up and moves. <laughs> It's fun. It's been a fun car, and I think it will continue to be a fun car. There's not a lot of these cars out there. I mean, from, from what I hear, the rumors say that they make about a thousand of these cars for the world or so. I don't know if that's 100% true. The Audi TT itself, they make a lot of them. Um, Audi makes a lot of TTs. I wouldn't even be interested in a regular Audi TT. The RS, I hear they make a thousand. Who knows how true that is or not. Could be less, could be more, probably more, I would say. But uh, still, they're kind of like unique cars. I know if you look, if you search on uh, eBay Motors or anywhere for that matter, you're not going to see a ton of Audi TT RSs out there. So you can safely say that they're unique for sure. If you all don't believe me that I live in farm country, if that doesn't make you believe it, I don't know what will. Check that out. Nothing but cows. Um, this place here where I live, that's where you that's where you hear that. You ever hear that saying, uh, beef, it's what's for dinner? Yeah. <laughs> that's how it is over here. Nothing but cows and farm. Fermentations. Your destination in a quarter of a mile. Almost there. After driving halfway through Gainesville. Where are we going? You wonder? Can you see it yet? You knew it was gonna happen. You have reached your destination. Your destination is on the right. So here we go. We're here. Oh boy. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at what's sitting there, people. Oh my gosh. Look at that car that's sitting right there. That's interesting. Let's stop this one. So we don't have any issues here. But look at this. Did you see that car? Because that's beauteous. That's a beautiful thing. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is probably like the epitome of beauty right here. Look at that. Oh my God. What? What is that? What is that thing? Check that out. Oh Lord. Wow. I don't know. If you were me, which one would you take? Would you take the Audi TT RS? Or would you take this uh, Audi R8 V10? Plus. Plus. That is really gorgeous. Someone's got the keys in here. Someone's uh, tweaking the alarm. That's probably my buddy Thomas. There he goes. Oh my God, this thing is so beautiful, man. It is pretty beautiful. <laughs> that is so you're, beautiful. I hope you're ready for all the attention you're about to receive. Oh, oh my you're not gonna go. You're not going to be able to go anywhere without people bothering you. Yeah, Thomas wants to know if I'm ready for attention. I just, <laughs> I just took the car to the gas station and people are like swarming me. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That thing is so beautiful, man. Oh my goodness gracious. That is beautiful. Hey, what's up, man? Another day living the dream. Yeah. Is this your new dream? Yes. Awesome. Yes, it is actually. Good for you, brother. It is so beautiful, man. I just, I'm gonna like just be looking at it for you a didn't long open time. The door yet. No, I haven't. Probably. <laughs> if I'm even able to sleep. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at the look at the headliner in yeah, there. Yeah, that's what I sat in. I was like, man, look at this headliner. Look at the headliner <laughs> in there. Wow, this this is amazing. Maybe the carbon fiber 
fiber on the vent yeah. on the door. Yeah, this everywhere. is this has carbon fiber everywhere. I mean, a lot of a lot of it is carbon fiber. Yeah. Right? Even on the the car, you know. Yeah. Wow. That is amazing. I don't know if you guys can really Hold on. through a camera. Go back to the back for a second. Yeah. Oh, let's let okay. let's let Thomas start it up. See how that sounds. That's awesome. It's almost as good as gunfire, which you guys know. I mean, that's the sound. Gunfire is the sound of freedom, but so is that right there. <laughs> that sounds great, man. Wow. That is awesome, man. Okay, looks like we figured it out. So, how do we... Right inside there. Where is it? Oh, it's back here. It's the button. Oh, there it goes. So you press that. Boom. Pops open. And then you see the beauty, the heart, right there. Wow, that is amazing. Fiber here too. Yeah, everywhere. It's braced. It's just, there's just a lot of awesome right here, man. A lot of awesome. So, I know I've got paperwork and stuff like that to do, and I've got to figure out this thing. Um, I'll keep turning the camera on and off and sharing stuff with you guys, but we got to get work done, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, let's go do that right now. Hey, look at the lights on on that. The lights are still on. Yeah. Thomas is driving my baby away. The old baby. Let's see how that sounds when he starts it up. It's a nice, nice little pop. Oh, I left my phone in there. <laughs> yeah, I drove up and I saw... <laughs> you just instantly jump yeah, out. Yeah, I saw what was going on and lost my mind. <laughs> Let's see, I'm gonna have to get the seat to go back. I don't know if this is as far back as it goes. Let's see. It should just go. It goes forward. Okay, yeah, that's as far back as it goes there. So, all right. What's different than what's in the in the TTRS? So pretty much, mostly the same. You got your oh, the auxiliaries right, right here. That's yep, cool. That's going to be good for the, uh, the radar detector. A lot better. Yeah, in that one, it's Way back in a here. terrible position. Yep. Yeah. So that's that's Still awesome. Still got your engine start. Mm -hmm. um, this controls the exhaust, whether it's in sport or regular mode. Mm -hmm. um, this turns traction control off, and this is your drive select. All right, let's start it up. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so the mode, the mode on the exhaust is here. So yep. it's, it's so is it on or off right now? Uh, it's in sport mode now. And engine now sound now standard. standard. Yeah, engine. Oh, so if, we let me see how my mirrors are here. And visibility is decent. This also has the ceramic brake pads, so mm -hmm. basically you never have to replace your brakes unless you track the car. Oh, okay. Which is amazing. Wow. All right, so let's do this. And the, okay, the parking brake's off. All right, which way are we going? We're going to go make a left out of here. Okay. We'll wait until we don't have any traffic. Yeah. Now, let me ask you, <coughs> does, this, um, does this have a thing that lifts up the front and the, you know, some supercars because they are so low slung. No, it doesn't really have anything that lifts up the front. AC works awesomely. Oh yeah. <laughs> this this headliner yeah. is amazing, man. This headliner is amazing. I'm gonna get a nice clear shot in yeah. here. It looks like after these cars go through, we'll be good. Okay. Let's go now. Otherwise, we'll be here for a while. <laughs> that's just a little. That's just a little something. <laughs> you know what? In the TTRS, I didn't. I used the flappy paddles every now and then, but I did. I found that I didn't well, really have to. The transmissions man. are so good. You don't need to use them.
still obeying all applicable laws. <laughs> The big thing that I would have to do, I gotta figure out, I don't know if this is as far back as the seat goes, and you're about, you're taller than I am. I'm 5'11". Okay, yeah, so we're about yeah. the same height, yeah, yeah. How Probably did you big. like the seating? Um, feels good to me. Yours, this one here yeah. looks like it's further back, so I'm probably, I know in the TTRS there was like, Up you have to drop it down and yep. in order to move back a little further, so. Let me let this guy go a little bit here. Like and I said, everywhere you go, you're going to get bothered by people now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the thing about it is that I think, uh, you know, and, I, and I'm into cars. I'm a car guy. I look at a lot of different things. The thing I like about this is like an everyday supercar. It is. You know, a that lot you can of, drive A lot day. of the supercars, just like Lamborghinis and Ferraris and stuff, you buy them, you can't take them on a drive from here to Orlando because you'll feel like you got beat up. Right. These have, this has all the creature comforts. And yeah. It's actually comfortable to drive. Yeah. So you can take it on road trips and, and feel great about it. And if I'm not mistaken, there's a lot of Lamborghini shared parts oh, in yeah. here. Or actually, on the Lamborghini, there's a lot of parts from the Audi. Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. they're, they're all part of our group. So yeah. a lot of people don't understand that Lamborghini mm -hmm. is part of the, the Volkswagen group, which makes Audi, Lamborghini, Bugatti, Bentley. Yeah. Uh, all kinds of high-end uh, stuff. Porsche. Is Porsche, Porsche in there? Porsche yeah. As well. Yeah. So. I mean, so to me, that's that's over most of those things, except the Bugatti. I mean, you know, I don't have Bugatti money, but I don't know <laughs> that I would even. Like, I know replacing parts on a Bugatti is not uh, not easy. That's one yeah. of your guys right there. Oh. Actually, I posted a little quick video with him yesterday, mm -hmm. and. Uh, People were telling me. <laughs> people were telling. There was someone there telling me that they know that they know your uh, your. Is that your head mechanic right there? It, that I didn't like, see who it was. Was it John or something? Yeah, I'm. I'm not sure. I can't remember what his name was, but. <laughs> yeah, that's so awesome. We can go ahead and park it back over here, and then I'll take it over to detail. Wow. They can finish cleaning it up for you. Yeah, that's John. Yeah, he is yeah. the main mechanic. Yeah. So there was someone telling me that they know him. Oh, really? Yeah, I posted uh, something on Instagram, and they were like, yeah, I know that guy. That's funny. Gainesville's a small place. Oh, so the button. So we need, oh, so with this, you press part. park. Yep. There you go. Awesome. Yeah, man. The only thing that I think I would have to do is just figure out how the seats work here. <laughs> so definitely, I'm going to take care of that now, and we're going to get some other stuff done. I'll come back to you guys in a sec. Okay. There it goes. This is the, the birthing room. <laughs> hey, have you seen that video? Oh, uh, which one? The RA birthing video? No. Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 there is one? Okay. I gotta find it for you. Get out of there. Yeah. All right. The, uh, Do your thing. This is where it all gets delivered. Right here. Hey, you know he's gonna be fixed, so. You're gonna be in this one, Thomas. Let's do that. Wait, let's do that one more time. Close up. Cool box with your keys. Wow. Nice. Those are very nice keys with R8 on the back of it. Two of them. Awesome. You got all your, all your gifts here. Sweet. So I went ahead and got you your gray hat too and the beanie. So oh, you got yeah. your white hat. Awesome. Gray Thank hat. You. Your beanie. Thank you, man. That's awesome. And then t shirt. And then the scarf for the Lola. Scarf. That's awesome. So she Thank got her so scarf much. and her white hat. So she'll yeah. be, she'll be all out here. That's awesome. Out. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, we'll show that to her. We've got to go get Lola now to sign some paperwork because, uh, like everything else, this belongs to Lola. <laughs> I'm just a chauffeur. <laughs> I just drive stuff. It's nice of you to do that for. Her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, well, she pays for it, so yeah, that's the trade off. You know, so there you go, man. That thing is so beautiful. So beautiful. And uh, we're probably gonna take a little bit of time, but I'll, I'll save you guys from that whole thing. We'll take some time to like walk through all the different uh, details and everything of it, of how to run stuff. It's not that, I don't, I don't feel like really, 
Yeah, it's very similar to the TTRS, which was like my trainer car, I guess. My practice car for this. <laughs> right? I gotta give you a rag, but we don't put fingerprints on the hood, all right? Yeah. So there you go. That is just really, really, really gorgeous. You can see, check out that V10 in there. Yeah. Obviously, it's not gonna get as as awesome mileage as the uh, as the TT, but the TTRS, but it'll still do pretty good. Yeah, I'm liking how it's specked out as well. I I would love to have like uh, blacked out the Audi rims here that represent the four companies, the four regional companies. You know, I wouldn't mind having that, but honestly, the cars already pretty stealth so I don't know I gotta think about that see you know if I really still want to do that but I know it, it looks good to me like that you know it gives it a little bit of flash so I'm not I'm not thinking that's something that I'll do too soon and uh, if you've been watching my channel and me doing stuff I'm not like a huge proponent of upgrading everything on the car right I think it should just yeah it should come the way it was meant to be. So there you go. There's the uh, inside there. Okay, I'm about to take this baby home. I will do a review of this, of me actually driving it in another video. So I hope you guys enjoyed coming along on this ride with me to a badass upgrade here. All right, Thomas, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. All right, we're out.